you've seen people do these really cool buttons on their Elementor pages where you click a button and it scrolls you down to a section of the page, you're in the right place because this is exactly how you do it. There's actually a couple different ways you can do it and I'm going to show you um, a few options. I don't think any of them are necessarily right or wrong. I just think it's whatever is easiest for you. Um, first way that I'm going to show you, this is my everything page. Um, here on the right hand side, this is actually, these buttons are actually a list that I've created to make it look like buttons because it was just easier and I like the way this looked, I like the way it worked. Um, but what I'm about to show you, you could do the exact same thing if you were to just drag in a button. It works exactly the same. So let's take a look at what's going on behind the scenes with this. If you come here and left click on it, if it'll behave, there we go. Um, so I've got these lists here and all of these to me are a button and within these buttons it will say, you know, do I want to do a link? I said yes and then I chose URL and then you'll see right here it says hashtag freebies. Now the reason why it's called freebies is to me the most obvious it was going to the freebie section. That doesn't necessarily mean that I am telling this you need to go to a go to text that says freebies. You can name it whatever you want. As long as you do hashtag something, and I like to choose something that um, is an identifier, which is why I chose freebies. I just think it's easier to remember what the heck is this even for? Where is it going? Um, as long as you do the hashtag and as long as where the link is supposed to end up at shares the same name, you're good to go. So in this case, um, I have chosen to send this to this little icon here, this little um, hand holding out a heart. And the reason for that, the reason why I didn't have it come to um, freebies, like the actual text or somewhere lower, is when you click the button, the page will scroll and it will make whatever you've scrolled it to be like the very top of the page. And I find that if I don't do that, then it will scroll down and it'll make it look not quite how I want it. So I chose to link it to these matching icons instead. You could totally link it to um, the text if you wanted to. You could link it to another button on the page. You could link it to an image, whatever you want to do. Um, but in this case, again, linked the little icon to the little icon. So we're going to left click on the icon and I'm going to show you what this looks like. Keep in mind, again, I've made, I've named the URL hashtag freebies. So within this little icon, when we left click on it, what I'm looking for is in the advanced section and it's called the CSS ID. And all it says is freebies without the hashtag. Now, when I click on the little freebie button, this is where it's going to go. It's going to jot down to the page to this little icon. And I'm going to show you um, what that looks like with another one that goes further down the page. So same thing with courses. I'll show you what that looks like behind the scenes. Courses says hashtag courses. And then courses down here, same thing with the icon. It has the CSS ID and it says courses. So when I come up here, and I click courses, it's going to scroll down. It's using the icon as the top. This is like where it cuts off. And now it's showing the courses section. Now, again, this is just one way you can do this. There's another way. In my resource library, I'm actually using, um, I forget what they're actually called. Yeah, they're just called menu anchors. I don't know how this is necessarily any different. It works exactly the same. I think it's more like if there's not something there that you want to link it to, or maybe, um, maybe for example, you've got all this other stuff already linked to something. Maybe you don't want to um, use the CSS ID for other reasons, but um, you can put in a menu anchor. You just grab and drag it in. Um, and in this case, you'll see I've done the same thing. This says freebies and the button up here says the same thing. You come here to freebies and it's hashtag freebies. Same concept. You could similarly, like I said, you can come in here and um, you can drag in a button and do the same thing. I could do hashtag, um, let's just do demo. And then I can come in here and grab an anchor put it in somewhere 
on the page. Let's just scroll down the page. It's being difficult. My whole computer is being difficult today. We'll just put it to here. And then I'm just going to call this one demo. And now when I come up here, when I click the button, it should scroll down and see there it is up at the top. That's where it anchors to. So same concept works exactly the same. You can do the same thing um, with text. All you have to do is come into the text. You could even, if you wanted to go crazy, you could even with the text, make the text link, um, do hashtag whatever, and then link that to go to, like anchor that to somewhere else on the page too. So if you um, if you were doing like a sales page or, or you wanted to like um, drag people down the page to maybe like uh, more information about payments or something like that, you, you could do something similar. Um, or if you wanted to drag people down the page to other texts to tell them about something and you wanted to, to anchor the text um, itself, like, like actually drag the page down to some text, you would just come in here and go to advanced and it's the same thing. You just put in the CSS ID and as long as they match, you're good. It works. And that's it. That is how you do anchor um, texts and buttons and lists and icons within Elementor.